hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here this is Sintube makeover please do not forget to subscribe and join this amazing family so get a seat feel relaxed and enjoy this video so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a beautiful traditional wedding makeup look and also sharing some tips and tricks to help you create a flawless finish that will last throughout your special day whether you're a bride to be or simply looking for inspiration for your next event so first thing i did i had to clean the face with my blossom micellar water so i used my cutting part to remove the dirt and oily on her face then next thing i'm going to be hydrating her skin with my case beauty fix spray i let it absorb into the skin before moving on to moisturizer so next i'm using my cetaphil moisturizer to moisturize her face so make sure every product dries into the skin before moving on to the next product. So moving on to primer, I'll be using my Gentle Dove Mattifying Primer on the oily areas on her face. So next, I'm going to be warming her face again with the same Kiss Beauty Fix Spray. Then next, I used my Newborn Beauty Liquid Highlighter on her face. This would help me achieve a glowy base. So guys can you see how her face is already glowing so moving on to foundation i'm going to be using my flawless half cast foundation on her face i'm just applying it with my flat brush before going on with my beauty sponge to blend in the foundation on her face So after blending the foundation you're going to be locking it up with the same keys beauty fix spray and allow it dry into the skin so moving on to cream contour i'm going to be using my zikel foundation in the shade 020 to contour her face So moving on to cream blush, I'm going to be mixing these two shades of orange from my Blossom Lip Palette and apply it above her contour, then blend it to my beauty sponge. So while blending, you need to be light-handed. Do not use force in blending so it doesn't affect the foundation. So after blending, we are going to be highlighting her face. So I'm using my Flawless Ivy Concealer in the shade Creamy Ivory to highlight her face. So I'm just going to apply it on the areas I want the highlight to pop. After applying this concealer, I noticed it was almost like a skin shade. So I added a little LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige on her face just to brighten it up. So the next thing I did was to blend in the concealer on the highlighted area. You also need to be light-handed while blending. Blend gently and generously. Do not be in a haste. Take your time to blend and make sure everything is well blended. So after that, I'm going to be setting her face. So I used my mirror setting powder in the shade Ginger to set the concealer onto highlighted areas. So I already did that. I couldn't record it. I didn't, I didn't know it wasn't recording, but you guys can understand. So while setting, you also need to be light-handed. Do not pack too much setting powder on the face to so avoid patches, especially the areas underneath her eyes. Just make sure you take it one step at a time. So next, I'm going to be setting the rest of her face with my Milani Compact Powder in the shade Light. So while setting the rest of your face, make sure you use the exact shade of your skin color to set the rest of your face. Do not use a color that is lighter or darker. Make sure it matches your skin color. So after that, we're going to be doing dry contour. We're going to be setting the cream contour we applied earlier. So I'm just taking that shade there from my Adventure Oil Control Powder Palette to set the areas I applied the cream contour. So next, I'm going to be using these two shades here to contour her nose. So after that, I'm going to be blending everything together with my powder brush. So after that, you're going to be setting the face again to reduce the brightness of the powder and also have a smooth-like finish. Then let it dry. Then next, you're going to be baking. So I'm using the same setting powder I used in setting her face to bake her face. Like 
so moving on to the brows i'm going to be brushing her brows upwards following the direction of her brows so i'm using my spoolie brush to do that so as you can see her brows are already full i don't do much when i see someone with a full brows so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be applying this brow tam on her brows just to lay the hair nicely I know you too. so next thing is to outline her brows i'm using my carrot gel liner the brown shade so i'm taking it to my angled brush to draw the outline following the shape of her brows so next i'm going to be highlighting her brows with my flawless ivy concealer in the shade creamy ivy to highlight her brows so i'm starting from her brow bone area so next i'm going to be blending the concealer on the highlighted area you need to be gentle while blending blend gently so it will be smooth and well blended same way gotta build up my thoughts sitting in an ashtray so after that i'm going to be setting the concealer with this light shade from the same adventure oil control powder palette look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you so next i'm going to gently highlight the top of her brows with this foundation i used in highlighting her face so moving on to eyeshadow i already did an eyeshadow tutorial on how i achieved this eyeshadow look in my previous video please endeavor to watch it because the video is well detailed and explanatory so i'm just gonna fast forward it if you want to know how i achieved this look click on the previous video to watch So I'm done with the eyeshadow application. I'm going to be dusting out the excess fallout from the eyes and also blending the face with my powder brush. So now so I'm going to be applying this blush. This is a powdery blush from Tara. So I'm just going to apply it on her cheeks. So next thing I did was to use my powder brush to blend everything together. My mother got a call, an important one. I decided to leave her to answer her call. My girl was slaying the hair. Next thing I did was to brush her brows again. Then moving on to highlighter, I'm going to be using my new Bam Beauty highlighter on her face. So I'm just gonna apply it gently on the areas I want the highlights to pop. So moving on to the lip, I'm going to be using my new Bam Beauty lip stain to outline her lip. So after that, I applied a little nude color in the middle for my Blow Zone lip palette just to brighten up the lip. So guys, I couldn't record the process of how I sealed the whole makeup together, but I used my super sealed spray to seal everything together and this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. So this is a traditional Igbo bridal look. Um, yeah, everything is given, the hair, the outfit. I'm going to be leaving the link in my description box. Then we switched from 
an evil bridal look to a Yoruba bridal look. This is a Yoruba attire. Everything is giving. They are showcased the gilly. Everything my girl tied the gilly. I will also leave her link in my description box. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.